Lesson 11.4 is about conditional probabilities. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to calculate a conditional probability using a formula, a table, or a tree diagram. So, to begin with, here's our definition. A conditional probability is when you calculate the probability of an event, such as event B, assuming that event A has already occurred. So the probability would be written like this, and you would read that as the probability of B given A. So um, when you're calculating this sort of probability, the given part becomes your denominator. So let's try that using a table. So in this example, we have um, males and females and different colleges that they could potentially go to. So we want to calculate what is the probability that a randomly selected student is female given that they attended a graduate school. So we will look at the graduate school information only and we'll look for the number of females, 1,954. And we will divide that by the total number of graduate students because the given part is only the graduate school information. So if we add these two things together, we get a total, put a total column here, we get a total of 3,303 that becomes our denominator. In example B, it says, what is the probability that a randomly selected student is female? So for this one, we would want the total number of females divided by the total number of students. So we would add up the total number of females, and that comes out to 9,933. And the total number of males is 7,539. So if we add these two together, the total number of students represented by the whole table is 17,472. So the probability we will randomly select a female student would be the total number of females divided by the total number of students. Of course, you can turn these into decimals if you would like. Example C, find the probability that we randomly select a student and the student is attending a four-year college given that they are male. So we're looking at the male group only and the numerator is the number attending a four-year college and the denominator is the total number of males. Part D, what is the probability that Oh no, is a random student more likely to be male or female? When we look at the totals here for male and female, we can see that um, females are more likely. So that's calculating a probability, use a conditional probability using a table. Next we're going to look at calculating using a formula. So um, if we're looking at the conditional probability of um, probability of B given A, the formula we would use is the probability of A and B divided by the probability of A. So let's get an example. Here we're still looking at a table, but we're going to use that formula. So a utility company has 50 people total, so that's our total down here in the corner. 50 of its customers, whether they pay their bills online or if they pay by mail. What is the probability that a customer pays their bill online given that the customer is male? So what we want is the total number of males right here. All right, so we're going to, using our formula, we're going to do the probability of online and male. And we will divide by the probability of male. Okay, so the probability that they buy online is 12, or they pay online, is 12 out of 50. 
and the probability that they are male is 20 out of 50. So if we divide this, that ends up being 12 out of 50 divided by 20 out of 50. And to divide fractions, you multiply by the reciprocal. So that ends up being 12 out of 20, which is the same thing we were doing before in the other table. In the next video, we're going to look at tree diagrams.